what is up you guys this is your favorite cutie my back again on my channel to give you guys yet another video today i'm going to be talking to you guys about my vocal journey so it's super funny because i've been singing literally for as long as i can remember but it's crazy how there's still so much that i need to learn about my voice um and we're just gonna talk i'm just gonna just literally just tell you guys everything that i've been thinking about ruminating on when it comes to like trying to strengthen my voice increasing my range strengthening my range and actually working on my weak points as a singer so that i could feel more comfortable doing a more variety of songs you know and also just being able if i want to to take that into my own music and like add more dynamics vocally and things like that and really just be the best vocalist i can be so for a while, um, I just always sung songs that I felt like felt good to me. And I think a lot of the songs that I like or, or I have liked in the past have been more because of like the content of the song, what the song is about. And I tend to like lean towards a lot of singer songwriters um, as my faves because I really get into like, what's the story of this song? Like, how is how do I relate to this song? How can I connect to this song? What do I feel like when I turn this on? And it's just crazy because like, as I listen to the music that I've always been like attracted to, it really said a lot about me as a person at the time. So not always my favorite songs were the ones where it was just super like vocally ambitious. So I think I, I sung a lot of songs that were, you know, easy for me to sing, but then growing um, now, listening and appreciating more music for like other aspects more so like uh the dynamics like how they're able to execute the song like really admiring the vocals of some of these artists i'm like you know what like it pushed me because i'm just gonna be honest like every single song that i've seen or i have sung in the past like there could have been times where it was just really hard for me or i would i think i was so used to being good and good that I didn't strive for great and I would probably I would really admit that yeah I would like be a little bit lazy when it came to like dedication when it comes to strengthening my voice but now I'm I'm in a different place and here are some things that I learned about my voice and how I like to sing uh, as I've been doing my vocals um every single day i pretty much do vocal warm-ups every single day now today i took a day off but usually i do them every single day because i like to sing anyway so i'm like uh, this this car concert that i'm about to have right now fire you know it's gonna be absolutely everything um so needless to say i just been doing that every day because i'm i'm dedicated now i'm consistent i'm committed like when i commit i commit but I commit, I commit, like I go, I go for it. I stop making excuses. Anything that I was making an excuse before, I'm like, no, that's not an excuse. That's not a problem for me anymore. Period, we're moving forward. <laughs> but what I've learned so far is I really like singing and my mixed voice. Um, I really enjoy, um, I really enjoy songs that just feel good. But I also am I'm learning that my voice is very powerful too. I have a powerful voice. And because I have a powerful voice that I haven't been using at like my most full capacity, it requires me to train myself how to use that power. So I was running into some issues where sometimes when I'm singing a song, trying to gauge how much strength do I need to put behind this? And actually realizing that I don't need to put as much like gusto behind notes that I feel like are going to be super high because with the right breathing and and positioning my voice or what is it called like it's like I don't know how to explain it but it's just like there's certain ways that you sing and you could just feel it like certain positions a way that you're executing a note that like you like or whatever but I I love singing my mixed voice and um I just want to make sure I'm working on my control. Breath control is a thing for me. Um, power, how much power, and realizing that I really don't have to push as hard as I think that I need to. I just need to be more calculated in how I'm singing. So I'm really focused right now on trying to develop some techniques 
like really strengthen my technique and like my placement. I've been working a lot with vowels, which I think definitely played a huge role in not being able to sing some things like I wanted to because I'm still working on it now. Like when I do the ah, like, so we have in the one that I do every single day, he takes us through E. So when you're singing, you're singing E. And then um, O, you know, O, singing O. Um, ah, A, A. These are things. At first, I didn't really get the importance of like why we needed to sing with vowels and why that's necessary to practice. But it is necessary because certain words are only going to be easy to sing if you have great vowels you know maybe you don't know but if you know you know the singers to sing it's just easier flows better another thing was getting out of the habit of lifting my head up and my neck up when I'm singing and being more conscious about singing with my without giving tension to my throat by having all these different you know positions and learning how to relax in my shoulders my vocal teacher um really taught me that like i used to be tense when i was singing especially when i anticipated a note that i thought or perceived to be difficult i would tense up and that's tense in my throat that's tense in all this upper area so now i try to be more cognizant of when i'm singing of staying relaxed and um another thing that i really want to work on is like changing from like my head voice to my mixed voice and like my falsetto to my chest you know, like I, I want to be able to navigate those a lot more easily, make it a lot more smooth. But I just want to tell my voice, this is the letter, a love letter to my voice. I love my voice. I love it. I'm thankful for it. And I'm so excited to get to know it even better. I'm so excited to get to know it. And if this, if this video interests you, maybe it's a sign that if you're a singer, that maybe it's time to get to know your instrument a little bit more. Like maybe find some videos on youtube where you can strengthen your voice and like try different techniques and really see what your voice can do because i really feel like singing is a real it's a skill that even if you weren't naturally talented if you were to put effort into and discipline into strengthening and really going through the motions of like learning how to sing properly that you can take yourself further than you think you can and i think that i had a notion and a mindset that my voice just wasn't made for big songs like i just that's just not the kind of voice that i have and i truthfully doubted myself i doubted myself a lot about what i was capable of and I'm still struggling with that sometimes. <laughs> I, I am, because sometimes I want to be like, well, maybe I just can't sing this song. But I'm realizing that I actually can. It's just about actually supporting myself, supporting my instrument, believing in my instrument, and being diligent and making sure that I am putting in the hours to sharpen what's already given to me. I already have such a beautiful voice. Like, just imagine two years from now even if I was just to continue doing the things that I do now like really put in those habits and put in that that um discipline muscle behind it I'm just super excited because I love singing so much and I just want to be able to feel freedom in singing I think that's my ultimate goal is to feel like I could sing any song without in my own way and my own voice and here's another thing you have to that I have to come come into I've been thinking about this a lot. My voice is not anybody else's voice and nobody else's voice is mine. Even, even when I want to like sing a song or even a cover or something like that, me not being able to or even wanting to or sounding the best singing the song, how that said artist sung it does not mean that, you know, my way is, my way is less or you know my voice is less because I don't sing it that way or I don't maybe I don't belt at this moment maybe you know sometimes I shine more vocally if I'm soft or you know being able to appreciate exactly what I have you know and my strengths and what makes me me what makes my voice my voice what's something about my voice that would have other people thinking like 
dang how she do that because we all have that and we all have our natural strengths we all have our natural god-given choice and ability to just create something unique you know everything about us has a unique signature you know that's why we none of us have the same fingerprint like even though we're all human and we share all these similar experiences that doesn't mean that everything about us has to be the same we all have our we have our commonalities but we also have something that's very sacred and beautiful about you that only you can give so i've really been trying to find what is that for me like what it, what is it about my voice that i love so much that i feel that this is a me thing like you know this is a me thing and this is what makes my voice special because i think i definitely i have that when i think about what my music and writing music and stuff like that but i think truthfully i needed a mindset reshift of like how i think about my voice what i think i'm capable of because how you do one thing is how you do a lot of things sometimes all things so i can only imagine if i have these limiting beliefs about my voice and like what it's capable of and what i can train it up to be and strengthen it up to be if i'm like diligent what does that say about how i might think about my career what does that say when i think about what is possible for me just in general you know when it comes to being my peak self you know sometimes just picking something that you want to work on does so much for you because you think it's just about the voice i start lesson just because i think you know maybe i could just sharpen up a little bit but then through this journey through committing to this journey i learned so much about myself that's even beyond my voice it's so much but um if you guys understand this video if you guys like this video definitely give me a thumbs up if you guys want more like uh, updates on how i feel about my lessons and all that good stuff definitely 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 let me know um i'm gonna leave you guys with the affirmation your affirmation is well our affirmation is i have a beautiful voice my my voice is beautiful and unique I love what I have to offer and I am capable of doing and creating excellent things in life. I am capable and able to do amazing things in life, you know? It doesn't have to be like you look at other people and be like, well, maybe I just don't have that, you know? It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be like, well, maybe I just never will be this or maybe i'll never be able to do that i think that we're here to do that if it's in your heart whatever it is it doesn't even have to be singing if you have something in your heart that you really want to accomplish in life even if it's as simple as i want to be able to sing this song make it your duty to show yourself and prove to you that you can because you can don't let anybody tell you that you can't not even yourself especially not yourself I know I tried to end this video like hella times, but this is my last thing. Whitney Houston said that. I forgot who it was. I think it was Jennifer Hudson. Was it Jennifer Hudson? Or it was somebody who was on set with her during... Or no, it was Jordan Sparks. Jordan Sparks was on set with Whitney for the movie. Was it Sparkle? It was one of those movies. And, you know, Jordan has said something along the lines of, I wish that I could sing that song or I wish I could sing like that. And Whitney told her, which is one of the greatest voices of our time that you can do it and don't let anybody tell you that you can't not even yourself so with that being said i'm gonna go now before i keep talking but yes thank you love you bye Mwah.